they're bringing to life. Well, today was uh, one of those days where it felt cool at times. For sure, yeah. this morning started out very cool, and then it really warmed up. It did. In and out. Once we got the sun, the little yeah. break of sun, 62 degrees. Wow. Now we have showers. You heard me right. Showers moving through the metro. It's very, very light, though. 59 right now. In fact, for this evening, it'll be damp skies and damp ground at times, but the showers really pick up a little bit tomorrow and certainly late morning on into the afternoon. So you see the band of showers from Rio Rancho down into Los Lunas. What you're going to see. Over the next hour, this band will work through. There'll be a break, and then later on tonight, another band will work through. You'll get some raindrops out of it. At times, some spots will have some wet ground, but this is very light, much the same Los Alamos Taos on into Santa Fe. This is just wave one, so this is not the big deal. The big deal is over here in the Pacific, and that will roll across. Let me show you what it will do. Soaking rains throughout many areas will stop it at 7 o'clock in the morning as that system draws closer, developing showers, Albuquerque, Santa Fe. On into the four corners, stop it around the noontime area, and look not so much thunderstorms, but just good periods of steady rain for a few hours. We'll go ahead and show you it quickly pushes to the east, high mountain snows mainly at the ski areas, which is fantastic. They always need that. And how much will accumulate about a quarter inch or more is the projection right now. These update every three hours, so keep joining us. We'll show you the uh, figures as they come out. But uh, Durango down at the Farmington, uh, more than a half an inches in the forecast there. They're finally one of the more favored areas. They've been hit pretty hard by the drought. As we look, not much moisture. Roswell down into Carlsbad. Rain showers likely in Ruidoso, scattered around the Alamogordo area. Showers and thunderstorms will be on the increase throughout southwestern parts of the state. So it will be a wet day, but the more that you go to the north, we'll have showers tonight and periods of rain becoming likely in the four corners from northeastern Arizona, southwestern Colorado, on into Shiprock, Farmington, down into Gallup and Grants. As you get into the afternoon, it does start to taper off a little bit, but look at that. Periods of rain on the increase becoming steady late afternoon. Well, I should say late morning on into the afternoon, and then it starts to taper off as we get into the evening hours tomorrow. Not as much rain will be falling from Raton, but a little bit more from Las Vegas down into the East Mountains. And yes, we'll wake up with developing showers late morning into the afternoon. We'll have a few hours of steady rain. Rain, which will be fantastic. So, uh, just some isolated showers around for this evening. Then you get the idea a rainy one for tomorrow, a mixture of clouds and sunshine Friday. There could be some uh, late day and evening showers Saturday, but then that will start to uh, clear by the tail end of the weekend. Let's go ahead and look at Traffic Watch 7, and we'll see there is a slowdown I 25 westbound around the Big Eye.